Hi everyone, welcome to another times table challenge and today we're going to be practicing the eight times table using our counting stick. Are you ready? We're going to start by adding the multiples of eight onto the stick and then we'll count forwards and backwards in multiples of eight. Zero. Eight. Sixteen. Twenty-four. 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and finally 10 times 8, 80. Okay, are you ready to count on your own now? I'm going to point to them and I want you to say them out loud. We're going to go all the way from 0 to 80 and then we're going to come back. Off we go. Zero. Good job, you ready to come backwards? 80. 80. Excellent. Now we're ready to start doing some of the times table facts. Let's do them together first. Zero times eight is zero. One times eight is eight. Two times eight is 16. Three times eight is 24. Four times eight is 32. Five times eight is 40. 6 times 8 is 48, 7 times 8 is 56, 8 times 8 is 64, 9 times 8 is 72, and 10 times 8 is 80. This time I'm going to mix them up a little bit, I'm going to give you a minute to shout out the answer before I say it as well. Are you ready? 2 times 8 is... 16. 1 times 8 is 8. 4 times 8 is 32. 5 times 8 is 40. 1 times 8 is 8. 10 times 8 is 80. 9 times 8 is 72. 6 times 8 is 48, 7 times 8 is 56, 8 times 8 is 64. Good job, I think we're ready to start taking some off now. Let's take away 0 times 8 because we know any number multiplied by 0 is 0, so I'm going to move that one away. We also know 1 times 8 is 8, so I'm going to take that one away. And I think I'm going to take away 10 times 8 as well, because you guys are so good at your 10 times table. We all know 10 times 8 is 80. Okay, so let's have another practice. 10 times 8 is 80. 0 times 8 is 0. And 1 times 8 is 8. 2 times 8 is... 3 times 8 is, 4 times 8 is, 5 times 8 is, 6 times 8 is, 7 times 8 is, 8 times 8 is, 9 times 8 is. Excellent. Let's take a couple more off since you're doing so well. I'm going to take away some of the ones that we know because of the times tables we've done so far. So because we know the two times table, we know eight times two is 16, so we know two times eight is also 16. We also know that because of our doubles. I'm gonna take away three times eight because we know our three times table, we've practiced that. We know eight times three is 24, so three times eight must also be 24. So I'm gonna take that one away and put it down there as well. And we're also experts at our five times table by now as well. We know that eight times five is 40, so we know that Five times eight is also 40. So I'm going to take that one away. Right, 
It's looking a bit more bare now. So I'm gonna point to them again, I'm gonna say the number sentence, see if you can say the answer out loud. I'll wait a few seconds, then I'll say it as well so you can check if you're right or not, if it's not still on there. Are you ready? Zero times eight is zero. One times eight is eight. 10 times eight is 80. Nine times eight is 72. Eight times eight is 64. Seven times eight is 56. Three times eight is 24. Two times eight is 16. Five times eight is 40. Six times eight is 48. And four times eight is 32. Good job, let's take a couple more off. Let's take off four times eight because we've practiced our four times table and we know that eight times four is 32. So I know that four times eight is 32 as well. So I'm gonna leave that whole side blank. And let's also take away nine times eight as well because the little trick for the nine times table, always remember, if I know 10 times eight is 80, I know nine times eight is gonna be eight less and I can do that using my number bonds. I know 80, take away eight will leave me with 72. So I'm gonna take that one away as well. I'm gonna leave these three tricky ones here to help us just for now. Okay, are you ready? Four times eight is 32. Two times eight is 16. Three times eight is 24. Five times eight is 40. 10 times eight is 80. So nine times eight must be 72. Eight times eight is 64. Seven times eight is 56. Six times eight is 48. And one times eight is eight. Great job, well done. I'm gonna take these ones away now as well and try and go with a completely empty counting stick. Eight times eight is 64. Seven times eight is 56. Six times eight is 48. Okay, let's see how you get on. Again, I'll give you a chance first and I'll say the answers as well. Four times eight is 32. Two times eight, 16. Six times eight, 48. Eight times eight, 64. Three times eight, 24. Seven times eight, 56. One times eight, eight. Five times eight is 40. Nine times eight, 72. Zero times eight is zero. And finally, 10 times eight is 80. Great job. If you're feeling confident, have a go at these chili challenges. If you want another practice, just go back to the start of the video, count in eights again, keep saying those times table facts out loud until you're feeling confident. Okay, well done. Right, here are your chili challenges for today, all around, based around the eight times table. So if you're feeling like you want to give the one chili a go, there are some of the ones we've just done, one times, three times, and six times eight. If you feel like giving two chili a go and challenging yourself, I've given you the answers for these ones, but there's something missing from the number sentence. Can you work out what goes here that we have to multiply by eight to get to these answers? And finally, as you know, my counter stick only goes up to 10, so I could really do with your help working out 11 times eight and 12 times eight. See if you can remember some of the methods we've used before for finding 11 and 12 times a number. Good luck, pause the video now, have a little go either on a sheet of paper or maybe in your home learning books, and then play the video again once you've had your best go, and we'll see some answers together. Good luck, well done. Hi again, are you ready to put in the answers? How did you get on? They're not easy, are they? The eights are the ones I had to practise the most for as well. So let's start with one chili. One times eight, we know that one is eight. Three times eight was 24. And six times eight 
is 48. If I'm ever unsure about the sixes, sometimes I just think about what five times is because I'm so confident with my fives. I know five times eight is 40. So I know six times eight, well, that's one more eight. So it's going to be 40 at eight. And that leaves me with the answer, 48. Who had a go at two chili? These ones where you had to find the missing answers. So what do I have to multiply to eight by eight to get to my product of 32? Mm, is it five times eight? No, that's 40. Three times eight. So, ah, I know. Four times eight is 32. Let's use my inverse to check that. 32 divided by eight. Yes, that's four. So four times eight is 32. And I can do the same here. What do I have to multiply by eight to get to 64? 64 divided by eight. It's eight. Eight times eight is 64. And finally, these two that I didn't have on the counting stick, we should know hopefully by now that when we multiply something by eight, oh, sorry, when we multiply something by 11, I'm going to have, I'm multiplying by 110 and 11. One, one. So that's going to leave me with eight tens. If I multiply that one by eight as well, that'll leave me with eight ones, which leaves me with 88. And again, 12 times eight, you might know it. I might add eight onto this one, but I'm gonna use that method again of I know 10 times eight is 80. I know two times eight is 16. And I know that 80 plus 16 will leave me with 96. And that's all of our ones completed. Well done, don't forget, keep practicing, keep going back to the start of the video, keep practicing those eights, they're not easy, but if you persevere, I'm sure you're gonna do a great job with it. Well done, see you again soon, bye.